Masses are offered. Thanksgiving Mass to Saint Anthony, offered by Michael mm. Correas, by Josephine Joseph, by Lena De Souza and family, Steffi De Mello and family, Gilbert Raichur and family, Peter Rodriguez and family, Kennedy Filbert and family, Cyril Carvalho, Alfred Lobo and family. Mr. and Mrs. Jackie and Philomena Dias and family, Lawrence Gama and family, Milagrin Dias and family, Clade Fernandez and family. Thanksgiving Mass to St. Anthony, recovered from the illness, <coughs> offered by Lucy Jennifer Fernandez. Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of Ashley Jude Fernandez. Mass offered for Sonia Abrose good health and good filled married life. Soul offer Dennis Doreswami by Francina Doreswami and family. Special intention to St. Anthony by Savio Montero. Thanksgiving soul offer Cyril Montero by Mary Montero. Good health of Susie's family offered by Elvis, Susie and family, personal intentions by Philomena, Madurai and family, soul of Mr. Ignatius was first death anniversary, soul of Inas was by Margaret Norona, soul of Mary Figredo by Thomas Lobo and family, soul of Rufin Lobo offered by Thomas Lobo and family, soul of Ignatius and Cecilia de Souza, offered by Thomas Lobo and family, soul of Swami Prabhudar, offered by Cyril Carvalho, souls of Reggie and Mina de Souza, offered by Ivan de Souza, for the intentions of Mrs. Grace de Souza and Olivia de Souza, for the good health of Claren <coughs> Swami and family. Soul of James A. John, offered by Sobin James John and family. Special intention by Oscar and Selin. Good health of Mrs. Mary Augustine Fernandez, offered by Augustine Fernandez and family. Good health of Leela and Lawrence Gama, offered by Lawrence and family. Souls of Dr. Mark De Silva, and Mary De Silva, offered by Victor De Souza, for good health of uh, speedy recovery of uh, Anu Mary Fernandez. During this Mass, let us pray for all these intentions and also other intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your with spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today's novena theme for our reflection is Jesus and Saint Anthony, Friends of the Disabled. Today's gospel speaks about the healing of a man 
who had been ill for 38 years. The Gospel mentions about the many miracles that Jesus performed. He made the lame walk, the dumb to speak, and the blind to see. Similarly, Saint Anthony followed Jesus' footsteps and performed many miracles. Today, during this Mass, let us pray for the disabled in a special way, especially those affected by COVID-19. May the Lord touch them and heal them. My dear friends, Bartimaeus in the Gospel of Mark knew who Christ was. And when he comes to know that Jesus is passing by, he begins to shout in faith, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The Gospel writer puts the beautifully the action of Bartimaeus when Jesus calls him to him. St. Mark says, throwing off his clock, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Through the intercessor, St. Anthony of Padua, Jesus invites us to participate in this Holy Eucharist. Am I ready to throw away my sin of garment, which I am wearing upon, trusting in the mercy and healing power of God? My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ towards God, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to claim anything as coming from us. Our sufficiency is from God, who has qualified us to be ministers of a new covenant, not in a written code, but in the spirit, for the written code kills, but the spirit gives life. Now if the dispensation of death, carved in letters on stone, come with such splendor that the Israelites could not look at Moses' face because of its brightness, fading as this was, 
will not the dispensation of the spirit be attended with greater splendor for if there was splendor in the dispensation of condemnation the dispensation of righteousness must far exceed it in splendor indeed in this case what once had splendor has come to have no splendor at all because of the splendor that surpasses it for if what faded away came with splendor what is the perma permanent must have much more splendor the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god. god the lord our god is holy the lord, the lord our god, god is, is holy. holy exalt the lord our god bow down before zion his footstool he the lord is holy our response the, the lord, lord our god, god is holy among his priests were aaron and moses among those who invoked his name was samuel they invoked the lord and he answered our response the, the lord, lord our god, god is holy to them he spoke in the pillar of cloud they did his will they kept the law which he the lord had given our response the, the lord, lord our god, god is holy o lord our god you answered them for them you were a god who forgives yet you punished all their offenses our response the, the lord, lord our god, god is holy exalt the lord our god bow down before his holy mountain for the lord our god is holy our response the, the lord, lord our god, god is holy kindly stand for the acclamation but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been there a long time. He said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up and while I am making my way someone else steps down ahead of me Jesus said to him stand up take your mat and walk at once the man was made well and he stood up his mat took up his mat and began to walk The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the story of man about whom we heard in today's Gospel according to St. John 
chapter 5 verses from 1 to 9 portrays Jesus concern for the invalids blind lame and paralyzed Christ approach towards the invalids was different from that of Pharisees and Sadducees Pharisees and Sadducees considered disability as punishment from God for their unethical way of life they considered disability as karma what you do to others it will be done to you they considered disability as hindrance of God's grace and mercy they considered disability as God's punishment against disobedience as a result of this approach people affected with disabilities may it be physical disabilities cognitive or mental disabilities or sensory disabilities they became the outskirts they became the neglected ones and they had no access to public life whereas christ makes men and women with disabilities as part of his healing ministry hence the scripture is full of people whose disabilities do not become barrier in they playing a vital role in the history of god's salvation by his ministry christ by his ministry towards the disabilities makes become makes disability as a channel of god's compassion and mercy and by christ being with them he becomes the friend of the disabled in the same gospel of john chapter 15 verse 15 jesus says i do not call you servants but i have called you friends when i read the disability stories in the gospels whether it is physical disability cognitive disability or the sensory disability one common point that i find is disability catches god's attention that means the moment i am in a disability god will never sleep god is in active mood and so therefore my dear friends disability catches god's attention in today's gospel at the pool of bethsaida in jerusalem there was a man who had been ill for 38 years each day he would try to get inside the pool so that he may be relieved of his disabilities unfortunately his hope for the day ended with a disappointment this went on for 38 years until he found christ in his life he never gave up he had hope and courage he knew that one day he will be healed so therefore the gospel writer says when jesus entered the sheep gate jesus sees him jesus sees him lying there and knew that he had been there for a long time jesus sees him disability catches god's attention in the healing of the blind bartimeus in the gospel of mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52 we are told that the blind man bartimeus son of timaeus was sitting by the road side he knew that jesus was passing by and he begins to shout jesus son of david have mercy on me hearing this prayer of the disabled jesus stood still jesus stood still disability catches god's attention in the gospel of luke chapter 19 verses from 1 to 10 we have another story story of jacobs he was not physically disabled but he was suffering from cognitive disabilities he was unable to understand the gospel values that christ was preaching love for the poor honesty and sincerity and therefore he had fortunately he had heard good about christ and he wanted to see that christ he wanted to come out of his disabilities probably and therefore he tries to see christ unfortunately because of the crowd and the height he he was blocked in seeing christ 
he never gives up he climbs the sycamore tree and therefore he is able to see because of his action and when jesus was passing by he looks up jesus looks up and therefore my dear friends disability catches god's attention analyzing and reflecting upon all the disabilities stories in the gospels we can arrive at this conclusion for jesus christ cause of the disability is not important how it happened and why it happened but for christ effect of the disability was very important at the end of every disability stories we see god's mercy and compassion is given to the humanity like christ saint anthony of padua was also the friend of the disabled one can foresee his friendship in the miracles or wonders that happened in his life saint anthony had a, a good heart towards the young once a young boy a young man called leonardo from padua went to saint anthony to make his confession in his confession of sin he confesses the sin of kicking his mother and saint anthony muttered under his breath the foot that strikes father or mother deserve to be cut off the young man takes these words literally goes home and chops his foot out of grief the parents go and inform saint anthony saint anthony rushes back to the young man's house enters his bedroom and makes a prayer makes a sign of the cross and then his leg was all right the young man jumps out of his cot begins to praise god and thanks saint anthony with this powerful intercessor saint anthony we are invited to experience god's mercy healing and compassion especially in this difficult times my dear friends covid 19 a deadly pan a deadly pandemic has disabled all of us we cannot go out we cannot visit anyone we cannot have any celebrations we cannot even attend any of the celebrations cannot go to the churches to participate in the liturgical services some of us have lost our jobs some of us have lost all our savings and totally we are in a desperable situation and this is a challenging time for all of us indeed we are disabled like the man who was ill for 38 years we are in our homes for many days waiting for the relief waiting for the relaxation of the lockdown above all deliverance from the covid-19 pandemic our disability must catch god's attention if god has to catch the attention of our disability then we must be action oriented therefore we need to pray like the bartimaeus who prayed jesus son of david have mercy on me and above all my dear friends like saint anthony and jesus we need to be the friends of the disabled when our neighbor or when my family member is affected with covid 19 let us not discriminate let us not keep him far away from his life of course social distance and the precautions has to be taken but still we need to take care of our brothers and sisters let us not put them out let us become friends to them so that the disability that which they are going through may be healed by our divine master jesus christ let us not lose hope in these difficult times let us have a courage through the intercession of saint anthony we may experience god's mercy and compassion to all of us let us pray for this intention during this eucharist we now have the prayers of the faithful as children of god and members of his church let us place our petitions with confidence before the lord saying 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the Pilgrim Church, which is helping the poor and the neglected. May your healing touch be upon them and bless them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our country and its political leaders, that they may be enlightened to work for the poor and the needy and uplift them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all special and disabled children and the people who take care of them, that they may be blessed abundantly by the grace and love of God during this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the people who are deprived of the Holy Eucharist physically. As they partake in this online streaming, may they be strengthened by the power from above. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for making us members of your kingdom. Give us the grace that we may work towards the disabled and its growth everywhere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Sing, who comes 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith the world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection, you will set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek Fernandez, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, Blessed Antony, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who we have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the save his command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread that on this day 
of blessed Saint Anthony, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Announcements. I thank for the Maxim D'Souza, Assistant Parish Priest of Fatima Cathedral, Camp Belgaum, for offering this Mass and breaking the Word of God and giving us a beautiful homily. Tomorrow's Novena Mass will be offered by for the Santosh Edward, Assistant Parish Priest of IC Church. Camp Belgaum. I thank our sisters for decorating the altar. I thank Ryan Gomes and Diocesan Media Commission for helping us to stream this Mass. I also thank the choir members for the beautiful singing for this Mass. Donations received Sagaya Raj Swami and family 5,000, anonymous donation 5,000 rupees, B.S. De Cruz and family rupees 1,500, Mark Filbert and family from Chennai rupees 1,001 rupee, Kennedy Filbert and family rupees 1,001, love offering Mark Filbert and family, rupees 1001. Alex Anthony and family, rupees 500. Thanks for your generosity. Novena prayer to Saint Anthony. I salute you from my heart. I salute you a thousand times, O Saint Anthony. You are a chosen vessel of divine grace. Jesus is with you. You are blessed as the humblest and the most admirable son of your seraphic father, Saint Francis. Remember, O oh remember, miraculous saint, that you have never refused to help those who invoke you in their needs. Animated by a lively confidence and certainty of not asking in vain, I have recourse to you, to you so you are so rich in grace and the most favored friend of the infant Jesus. O Saint Anthony, Saint of Miracles, Saint of Relief, I also require your aid. I need this favor. Please mention your favor. Console me, therefore, in my present necessity and give me the help that I expect from you with such confidence. Bless me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of whom Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Tu ce-a librat
Kerjaan Ibrahim.